Hello, and welcome to the FinBiz 2030 Building Resilience podcast series. This episode features highlights from the Sustainability and Innovation webinar, hosted by Chimere Oluku and Olabunmi Odekunle. In this episode, we hear from Mark Alain Busico, ecosystem builder and founder of Banj, a local entrepreneurship hub partner of Google, who says the secret to sustainability is to start small and build strong partnerships. Dear participants of FinBase 2030, it is a pleasure for me to be able to connect with you all the way from Haiti in the Caribbean. I want to thank the Chartered Accountants Worldwide, the Institute of Chartered Accountants of Nigeria, and of course my family, One Young World, for this opportunity. I want to share with you a few thoughts around building resilient, sustainable, and innovative ecosystems. I know Nigeria has a reputation of being one of the most thriving tech ecosystems in Africa, but I'm sure there are many other places and sectors that are still waiting for innovators like you to come together and be disruptive. I am an economist by background, but truly, I am a tech ecosystem builder. My true mission is actually to change the narrative around Haiti leveraging tech. Let's admit it. Most of you here, when you hear Haiti, you think about a poor country. But I want to change just that. And I built a company to do that. At Bush, we are partnering with corporates, telecoms, and global partners to be able to bring people together and bring resources for developers and tech entrepreneurs who wants to be part of that revolution that we're talking about. We work with Google, we work with Facebook. I am the brand ambassador for one of the biggest commercial banks in Haiti. So all of that is to bring the opportunities to the right people to make the right change and change the economy. But things wasn't always like that. That is why I wanna share with you a few things, three things to be exact, that I wish people have told me when I was just starting years ago. The first one, start building networks early. And today, guys, you are so able to do this because you are the most connected group of people around the world. You can leverage technology to do that. So make sure you create your story, you amplify your story, and make sure people see what you're doing, even if you're starting very small. What you need to know is that the people who are going to make the decision that can change your life or also connected on social media and maybe watching you, even if you don't know it. So use the packages that are available with tools that are free on the internet to connect with people and to make your story heard. That's gonna help you build social capital. Very important. The second advice is to find a great idea and build it sustainably by starting small. Test and grow. You want to know where you can find a great idea? Look at the SDGs, full of problems around the world. For every problem, if you can find a solution, that's already great. You're relevant. But then you need to build something strong around it. We call it a business model. Make sure you find the strongest way and ask yourself, can I do this for the rest of my life? What would it take for me to leave my job? I quit my job in 2017 to start Bosch. What would it take for you to quit your job and still be able to do this sustainably? Think about what's happening around the world. Look at people who are solving for the same issues and what they've done and stay inspired. The third advice I have for you today is really build strong partnerships. Don't go at this alone. There's always someone that can help you move further. And partnership is all about deals. What can you offer? What can people offer you? Once you can find that sync, build partnerships everywhere. And I was able to test the power of partnerships, social media, and really having a great idea one year and a half ago when my entire business was destroyed. There was a riot in Haiti. People I didn't even know just came and broke everything. I was enraged. I felt discouraged. My own country was testing my faith. But as I was thinking about way forward, that's when the community that I've been building for years stood up and said, no, bring Bonge back. We cannot let that happen. This is when my partners stood up and said, no, this can't die because Haiti needs it. 
And the people in general stood up and said, this is so relevant, we cannot let this die. That is when I realized how strong of an ecosystem I was able to create over the years, piece by piece. So if you want to build a strong ecosystem, don't think about just building a great business. Think about building a great network that's going deep into the social tissue around you. Make sure that everything you do is really looking at the opportunities to bring people together and to create value together. There's nothing more beautiful than being able to find a sustainable model to do what you love. I would love to stay in touch with all of you, so let's do that through social media. Let's connect on Twitter. I am at Mark Allen B. Let's plug in and connect our ecosystems. Goodbye, Nigeria. I'll see you soon. To hear more podcasts or to find out more about FinBiz 2030, go to finbiz2030.com. Join the conversation using hashtag FinBiz2030. FinBiz 2030 is a joint initiative between One Young World and Chartered Accountants Worldwide. This podcast is produced by Big Top Multimedia. The original webinar series was produced by Be There Productions and Big Top Multimedia. Special thanks to Pexels.com. Pexels.com.